Torrential rains and hurricane force winds in Texas left at least seven people dead and hundreds of thousands without power. Katie Byrne gives us a look at the cleanup efforts now underway in Houston. We need help. I'm on the breathing machine. People over here have got medical issues. We need help, but we need water and food. Anxiety and frustration growing in Houston. That's where hundreds of thousands of people remain without power after deadly thunderstorms and hurricane force winds swept through the region Thursday. I would like some answers as far as how long it's going to be. If, if maybe we need to make plans to, to actually leave the area for a while. Energy officials warn it could take at least a week to get back up and running. Crews are still out assessing damage and it could take some time to replace equipment, including massive transmission lines knocked down during those 100 mile per hour wind gusts. If a school doesn't have power, it probably will remain closed. This could mean another day of government offices closed and canceled classes for some on Monday. While crews work on restoration, much of the city is also cleaning up. Workers boarding up windows and sweeping up glass downtown. In the Houston suburb of Cypress, where a tornado touched down, neighbors helped each other. A lot of glass in the house. Unbelievable how much glass was in there. It's all over the place. <laughs> but they've cleaned up much of it. All the work happening amid a smog warning and rising temperatures. Forecasters are predicting highs of around 90 by the start of the week, with heat indexes reaching triple digits by midweek. Several cooling centers are now open for people to find relief. In Houston, Katie Byrne, WDRB News.